grateful to be working for an organization that advocates for safer streets for everyone, um, not just cyclists, but all of our more vulnerable road users, so that we can get more people out um, biking and walking. And there's a reason why bikers are on the street too, so that we're also not in the way of pedestrians walking um, and respecting that too. And I think um, a lot of drivers don't know that that we're not supposed to be on the sidewalk. You know, there's lots of data that show that protected bike lanes are the safest and viewed as the most comfortable. And so I think the more protected bike lanes we have, the more people we're going to see biking, which has all kinds of benefits for our communities. I think generally, when we look at Minnesota's economy, we know that we have a concentration, higher um, concentration of bicycle-related businesses here. I mean, when you have bike stores, when you have um, bike sharing program, when you have programs that teaches people to bike, when you have those kind of uh, resources, I feel like there's more people who are willing to start biking. There's quite a few studies that show that um, real estate is worth more where active transportation is good. I love biking. No matter the distance, like for me, I know I try to move near uh, places that have protected bike lanes. Because it means that it's easier for me to get around and there are more places that I can go. It's just so important to, to your own personal health, I think the health of your community and the health of the environment, to take at least shorter trips um, by bicycle whenever you can. I'm healthier. Uh, I save money, um, and I feel good about it. <laughs> so that's, that's why. You know, it's fun. It's gotten to the point where it's really, really fun.